Kumar Lutfi here with Lutfi Innovations, and today we are going to talk about the software side of the Curve Energy Monitor. Alright, so the first part is the online app, and so just install it from the Google, Google Play, and here's the main screen of it. And from here, you can, you can look at the live usage by circuit. And that shows you what you're using, the energy you're using now. And this will be by the month. And the other thing you can do is the cost breakdown by month. And you can go into the settings. So when you're first setting this up, you can look at your configuration and this will be the first thing you want to you want to work on you want to go to your hub and you can see that you're connected and I just named this my garage and then there's three sets of of clamps so the first two are the main clamps that go to the A and B circuit and the second one I ended up using or the third one I used as the dryer and this is one that uses two spots in the circuit breaker. So you, you end up switching this to from single pole to double pole to say, oh, this is using two. So that, um, that lets it know it's using twice as much energy. And up here you can, you can use, you can change the, the clamp size. So the medium, the big ones are hundred amps that go on the two A and B sides. And then the bigger ones are 50 amps. And then if you come down here, uh, here's a smaller one I used and that's 30 amps. So you can go through and click on each one of these and you can see all these are single pole. And then on the third one, I believe I have the the range, that's another double pull. So, and then you can see in real time how many watts and amps they're using. So the first time you set that up, that'll be what you wanna, what you really wanna get right and name them accurately. So, so that's about, that's all the, the main things you can do on the phone app. So now we'll move on to the computer and the online app. So I went, to app.curbenergy.com slash dash and this is the main screen and here you can get really more information um, this screen the thing over here uh, is a little radar thing that can show you how much you're using each month and you can change that to do dollars per hour dollars per day per week and per month and then if you click on it you can go back this is another live circuit and you can see what what's using what. And on here, I'm I'm general. I'm mostly using this for my heat pumps. So you can see that. Um, actually, I think everything's off because this is um, this is actually not using very much energy. But um, so two of these are like in standby mode, and this one's just off. Basically, it's just using almost no energy. So um, you can see like my refrigerator out in the garage is using more energy than uh, that other heat pump. But basically we're not using very much energy right now at all. So the next useful thing is this graph here. And you can, um, the first thing you can do is you can select all or deselect all, or you can select certain things, which I think is very useful. So like if I want to see how much energy my heat pumps have been using, I just click on those and I can say, okay, so for the past, for the past three hours, I've been using this much energy and you can see the, the two on the main floor are, have been on fairly constantly. And the one upstairs is, this one's using eight cents of an, eight cents an hour. And so you can get an idea. It's actually a pretty nice day out. So. These guys aren't cranking out too much, but then you can 
switch and say by day and week and month. And I've only had it since the beginning of February, so I'm not, I don't have a ton of data yet, but you can, you can go back. Like I like to get an idea of like how much my range, I was cooking some bacon this morning. So you can see what the range looks like. And so you get all these little spikes. So this is what it looks like. It'll be on for a few minutes and then off for a few minutes. So it'll be using this huge amount of energy, but, um, your oven's not on all the time. So, um, so the same thing, like I can see how much energy my dryer uses. And you can see it'll be on for, for a big chunk of time and then it'll be off. It'll be off most of the day. So that's really the most useful information you can get from this. And if you go into the settings, you can see um, the same thing with the, you can see your configuration. So you can change your clamps here and you can download data, which I haven't tried yet. But um, the idea of this is to get all your data that you can incorporate it into um, some bigger projects that you want to do. Like for example, I want to, I want to, make a chart of the energy usage of my heat pumps versus the temperature and see how much I'm using based on the temperature. So when it gets really hot and really cold, I can measure and say, okay, well, here's how much I, I would probably use during a year. So then you can go to the cost breakdown. So I've used $93 of, of energy. And you can see my heat pumps are using the majority of it. And um, my dryers use some, the fridge, the fridge out in the garage. So this is kind of a, gives you an idea of what you, how much everything's costing you per month. And, and then if you have, let's see, this can just show you like, most of the time, this is the power band. So most of the time you're using a very low amount of energy. And then every now and then, like when your oven's on, you're going to use, or your dryer's on, you're going to use it a lot of energy. So, and you can also connect things to, um, you can connect smart devices to this, which I haven't done. And you can also, if you have solar panels, you can connect it here and it'll measure how much energy is going in and how much you're using. And that's also something I haven't done. So that about wraps it up. And um, I hope everyone finds this useful. And have a nice day. Thank you.